All right, guys, hope you can see this. This is kind of an awkward angle, but this is the fender I painted a few days ago. I primered it. So next, I'm gonna sand it down just a little bit, get a little rough. I'm using 220 right now. Sure. Just so you know, I don't claim to be a professional painter or body man. I just do what I think is right. It's kind of off the wall stuff, you know what I mean? Kind of what I've learned a little bit in the auto mechanics trade. I just heard, so. I don't have a lot of money to take it to a mechanic itself, which I used to be, but I don't have the money to go to a uh, really body shop, so I'm just going to do it myself, and whatever turns out, it turns out, right? My car is paid for, so what the hell? Just going to give it a light rough, just get it roughed up a little bit. And if you notice, I don't know if you can see this, but I got this over here. Where the door line or the molding supposed to be, I filled it in with Fondo right here. So I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that in there. I got some other plans for it. Let me go get a rag and wipe that down. It's kind of a damp rag. Get everything off of it. Yeah, all my other stuff got missed on the, uh, messed up on the thing, so I had to get a new one. And my data was all corrupt. That really pissed me off. So we're going to dry this off real good. Hopefully y'all can see me. It's a little windy today, which I hate. Okay, let that dry a second. Shouldn't take too long. It's pretty, pretty warm today. A little windy though. I'm gonna kind of hate doing this in the wind, but I want to get it done. But I got some other projects going right now. I got the door, both both the side doors up there. One of them's been primered, and I need to sand it a little bit, get some uh, runs and dents out of it. And the back door, I've got it sanded down, waiting for it to dry. So let's try this a little bit and see what happens. Okay. Kind of a light coat across it. Now this is a paint can job, so we're gonna see how it works. I've seen it on there. I've seen it on TV a lot, so we're gonna see how it works. I'm using Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Enamel. So let's see. I ain't worried about getting on the tires or the door because I'm replacing that door and I'm gonna put new tires and rims on it later. And I don't care if it don't look good or not. I just, I'm just doing something to kill time. So hopefully, you know, it may turn out pretty good. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, well, is that dry? And I'll be back in a little while. Okay, there it is. It's finished. It's got a few runs in a little bit. But I'm going to sand that out a little bit, get a last, last sand a little bit. I don't know if you can see it very well, but that's a pan can, pan job, paint can job. So it's got a few runs. It's got a little bit right here, a little bit right here, a little bit right here. But I'm, I'm going to kind of soft sand that down after it dries real good, sand it a little bit, and then go back over it. After it dries, I'm going to let it dry overnight. Hopefully nothing gets in it. I'll probably use some plastic over it. But that's that. So we'll see what the next project brings.